Good afternoon, Church, and welcome to our Sunday service. Today, we will celebrate God's goodness and faithfulness to our lives. Let's thank Him for all that He has done. And remember that His love sustains us and strengthens our hearts through these trials. Let's all read from Psalms 150. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Praise Him with the tremble and dancing. Praise Him with the strings and pipe. Praise Him with the clash of cymbals. Praise Him with the resounding cymbals. Let everything that is breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Muli sa inyong lahat, dadako na po tayo sa ating tithes and love offerings. Samahan niyo po akong basahin sa Kawikaan 3 verse 9 to 10. Parangalan mo si Yahweh sa pamamagitan ng iyong mga kayamanan at mula sa iyong mga pinakamainam na ani. Siya ay iyo ring handugan. Sa gayon, Kamalig mo ay lagi ng aapaw. Sisidla ng inumin ay hindi mga matutuyuan. Napakabuti po ng ating Diyos. Tayo po ay dumako sa panalangin. Lord, we come to you today to honor you in your house. We present our tithes and love offerings to you as a gift and sacrifice of honor. And we believe that you will bless us and that our barns will be filled with plenty and our vats will overflow. We stand on your word and act on our faith. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless po sa inyong lahat.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my inmost being, bless His holy name. Purihin ng Diyos, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. A blessed Sunday sa lahat po ng aking mga kapatid, sa mga nanonood po ngayon at mga bago namin kasama. Tayo po ay nandito ngayon, handa na naman pong uh, sumamba, magsama-sama ng puso't isipan, at tanggapin ang pagpapala ng Panginoon at patuloy po natin ma-enjoy ang kanyang presensya. Kanina pa po tayo sumasamba at naririnig po natin at na-experience po natin ang, ang pagsamba at paglulahati sa atin sa Panginoon sa pamagitan po ng mga awitin at tugtugan, purihin ng Diyos. So, let's continue to worship Him. So, welcome po mga kapatid sa Word for the Word Christian Fellowship uh, 3 p.m. Sunday service online. Glory to God. Uh, nawa lahat po kayo ay nasa mabuting kalagayan at hindi po kayo pinapabayaan ng Panginoon alam ko marami po sa atin ang uh, meron pong kinakaharap na mga matitinding hamon at problema and I pray that God would continue move to move on your life po at uh, ibibigay po sa inyo ang victory na kailangan nyo sa bawat sitwasyon na inyong kinalalagyan glory to God at yun po ang ating tatalakay ngayon uh, how to Uh, get uh, yung po mga empowerment o kalakasan at uh, ano po ang mga ginagawa ng Diyos para tayo palakasin tatalakayin po natin yon so magpapatuloy na po tayo so bago tayo tumul- dumulog po sa uh, kanya po uh, pakikinig natin sa kanya tayo po'y manalangin muna salamat Panginoon sa araw nito again excited po ang puso namin Guna- gumalaw po kay sa amin at ang yung presensya ay magbigay ng kaliwanagan sa amin kalakasan, pag-asa at tagumpay. Uh, bayaan niyo po, purihin ka namin. Pasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Purihin ang Diyos. So, yung <coughs> ating pong tatalakayin ay uh, kung paano nagbibigay ng uh, empowerment ang Panginoon sa kanyang mga disciples. Alam niyo po, ang Panginoon kung magbigay po ng uh, training hands-on po. Uh, t- sinama niya po. Kung baga po, may tinatawag tayo doon na nag i po siya ng kanya pong Uh, <clears throat> sarili o empowerment sa kanya mga alagad at uh, ginagawa po niya to hindi po parang classroom type kundi <clears throat> nandoon po nagbi-minister sila sa mga tao at pag may mga sitwasyon na gaganap pinupulot ng Panginoon o binibigay ng Diyos ang aral sa bawat sitwasyon para ang ating mga uh, mga alagad po niya ay maihanda maihanda hindi lamang po sa mga gawain sa Diyos kundi maihanda sa mga harapin nilang hamon may handa sila sa darating na panahon at maging pagpapala sila at sila mismo hindi po babagsak sa lahat ng hamon ng buhay. Purihin ng Diyos, lalo na sa kanilang pagtupad sa kalooban ng Diyos. So, the 12 disciples po were chosen and trained and empowered by God. He has uh, appointed them and they are preparing them. You know, He is preparing them for the mission na ibibigay niya sa kanila at uh, yung possible na mga kakaharapin nila. So, yung pong title po natin ngayon ay uh, Keys to Empowerment. Uh, susi para po sa uh, kalakasang ibibigay ng Panginoon o binibigay ng Diyos sa atin. At ito po'y matatagpuan sa uh, book of or the Gospel of Luke chapter 6 verse uh, 17 po uh, hanggang 18 po. Uh, actually, ano po, hanggang 26, ihimay-himayin po natin yung mga verses po. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag magturo ang Diyos, hands-on. So, alamin po natin ang nagkaganapan at ano po ang tinuro ng Diyos sa kanyang mga disipulo. So, doon po sa Luke chapter 6, verse 17 to 18, sabi po niya doon, He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of His disciples were there. And a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem, from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by evil spirits were cured. Purihin ng Diyos. So, nakita natin dito sa mga verse na ito. Uh, ano, kung mamasdan po ninyo, kung iintindihin po ninyo, sabi ito po sa verse, uh, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by evil spirit were cured. So, ano po nangyari? Meron pong tinatawag nating hearing and healing. As they hear the word of God, they experience healing 
And this healing goes beyond physical aspect. Um, imagine nyo po yun. Hindi lang po ito tungkol sa pangangatawan. Eh, kailangan po natin to kasi ang atake sa atin ng katawan ngayon, kahit hindi po tayo may sakit, sometimes yung pong troubled hearts, troubled uh, spirit natin, yung pong tinatawag natin mental, uh, tinatawag natin pressures and, and, and worries and anxieties sa panahon ngayon po. So, sabi to when they hear the word of God, nagkakaroon, may experience po na lang healing at uh, sabi natin, uh, deliverance. Ano sabi po ron? Uh, may, mayroon yung troubled spirits po na, na, na nagkakaroon silang freedom doon. Evil spirit troubles the soul because of the lies o kasinungalingan they saw upon the mind of people. As the mind is corrupted by the lies of the enemy, it also affects no, the physical body inflicting illness and tries to destroy the body. Sabi po sa John 10.10, 10, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yung po yung layunin ng kaaway sa atin, pero purihin ng Diyos ang ating Panginoon. Meron pong pang-counteract dyan at tayo po ini-equip niya. Ang sabi to puro on, hear and there will be healing. Listen and there will be enlightenment. And as we absorb the truth, sabi ito, the right understanding of the truths of God renders the power of the lies of the enemy powerless. It loosens the holds of darkness in the soul, overpowering the confusion they are trying to use to put down believers physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Yung po ang ginagawa ng salita ng Diyos as we listen, as we let the Spirit uh, explain it, convict our heart, and make our mind, sabi natin, uh, absorb the truth, nagkakaroon po tayo ng right thinking, right attitude, right feeling, nagkakaroon po ng empowerment ang ating body, hindi po tayo uh, nagiging, uh, sabi natin, nagsasokong sa sakit, na uh, dinudulot ng maling pag-iisip. Yan, purihin ng Diyos. We are vessels of uh, lahat po tayo ay sisidlan. At uh, kung ano ang inilalagay natin sa atin po, yun po ang nagiging katayuan natin. As a believer, being a vessel, we, if we let the Holy Spirit brings into light the Word of God, He absorbs it, it floods our soul with divine light. That evil, that evil spirit hates. Ayaw po ng mga masamang spirito ang katotohanan ng Diyos, ang liwanag ng Diyos, ang kapangyarihan ng uh, sabi natin, uh, kadalisayan ng Diyos. Evil spirit, uh, hindi po pag puno tayo ng, ng salita ng Diyos, puno tayo ng presensya, ay hindi ka mapopossess. No? Uh, hindi ka pwedeng uh, kunin o uh, eh, sakupin ng kaaway. Ang gaya lang gawin ng spirito is to try to harass you outside the body, but he cannot possess you because mayroon na nakatira. Hindi pwedeng tumira ang, at the same time sa isang katawan ang masama at mabuting spirito. But if the Spirit of God is with us, the Spirit cannot possess us. Sabi po sa Luke 6 verse 19, And the people, because of this experience po ng healing, hearing, uh, at saka deliverance, the people all tried to touch Him because power was coming from Him and healing them all. Oh, kita niyo po yun, lahat sila. So, meron pong connection sila with the divine. Experiencing the divine presence of God was a relief of great magnitude. Uh, that they not only experience enlightenment, but also healing from their souls. Uh, uh, they are delivered from the curse of sins. Uh, they experience it because uh, they, they, they see the very presence of God. As they touch Jesus Christ, power was released. Power was being uh, no, flowed, uh, uh, nagpo-pour out sa kanila, and they experience healing and deliverance. We, they have a connection with the divine. So, because of this, we need to be continually be in touch with our Savior. We need to be connected to Him constantly. So, the enemy will never have a foothold on us, lalo na sa panahon natin ngayon, na kung hindi po nang ating hinaharap, hindi po tayo pwedeng bumitaw sa ating Diyos. We need to be constantly in touch. Yung po ang uh, sikreto doon. Sabi po sa uh, Luke 6, verse 20 to 21. Look at His disciples, He said. Uh, looking at His disciples. So, tumingin si Jesus Christ as these people was being delivered, as these people touched Jesus Christ, and they experienced healing and deliverance. Tumingin naman kay Kristo. Ito nga, sabi sa inyo, hands-on ng Panginoon. Pag nag, uh, nagtitrain siya, nag empower siya ng kanyang mga disipulo. 
Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. So, ano pong ibig sabihin nito? So, imagine po ang mga tao when they experience uh, the extraordinary blessing of God, pag hinipo nila ang Diyos. And that is only for the moment, ha? Dun lang yung pagkakataon. Eh, paano pa yung mga disciples? Disciples, uh, how much more sa kanila? They, they constantly are in fellowship with Jesus Christ. Kung saan pumunta si Jesus Christ, nandun siya. So, wherever He goes, so, nandun, nakikita nila, nararamdam nila, uh, nakakasama nila, na-experience nila si Jesus Christ. So, they are constantly in touch. So, ganun po yung empowerment. Nagkakaroon ng impartation, nagkakaroon po ng relationship, nagkakaroon po ng stability. Kahit po nakakaharap ni Jesus Christ ang mga opposition, nakakaharap na ni Jesus Christ ang mga tao sabi natin, they are being put into danger. They do not mind it. They are not uh, worried about it because nga nararamdam nila ang presensya ni Kristo and we need to experience that presence, lalo na po ngayon. Tingnan po natin. Sabi niya, blessed. Sabi niya, kasi itong mga taong to, kung uh, pag iniwan ko na kayong mga uh, alagad ko, ma-experience yun yung tao rin, lalapit sa yung ng tulong. At sabi niya, blessed are the poor. Now, he was telling this to the disciples, hindi po sa mga tao. Sabi niya, kayo kasi, I will be giving you empowerment. But power, no? Power or authority can be easily bestowed to anyone. But to bestow it to someone who has no right character or wrong character, this power can be destructive. Jesus now is addressing His disciples with regards to the right set of mind or attitude or the right uh, kind of heart para po pag binigyan niya itong power sa kanila, hindi po ito magagamit as destructive. Hindi po ito magagamit as something po para uh, abusuhin. Kaya sabi nga ito, Blessed are the poor. Sinasabi niya ngayon. Oh, only by being hungry for righteousness can they be filled with the provisions of heaven. Only then can they be satisfied in the meaning of their life. Only when they have this compassion and have a sense of the wretched condition of men can they have the burden and right motivation to use all that Christ will bestow upon them. Purihin na Diyos. Kaya po doon sa verse 22 to 23, Sabi niya, blessed are you when men hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil. Because of the Son of Man, rejoice in that day and live for joy because great is your reward in heaven. For that is how their father treated their prophets. So, sinasabi ni Kristo to na ganito ang attitude kasi meron pong darating na persecution, may darating na opposition, may darating po na mga sitwasyon na ire-reject kayo. And Christ was preparing them to what is to come. Palapit na po yan. Alam po natin sa nagagamit sa paligid natin, uh, tayo po bilang uh, belonging to Christ will experience po great opposition, great suffering, great sabi natin, uh, uh, sabi natin yung uh, labanan o warfare po. And this is what Christ is telling to His disciples. He is giving them empowerment and there are keys, sabi niya. Uh, you will have power, uh, but you have to have the right attitude because to have the right power, right attitude, you will withstand what is coming and what is coming is great suffering at kahit may suffering, you will not fall. Yun po ang ibig sabihin niya rin. Kaya meron din siyang babala. Doon po sa 24 to 26, Luke 6, 24 to 26, sabi rin. But what to you who are rich? For you have already received your comfort. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you will go hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for that is how their father treated the false prophet. So, the curse of material things without God, uh, nagiging sumpa po yan, the things of this world is not evil. What is evil is our attitude toward it. If we love it more than God, then our satisfaction will also be temporal. Our life will be dedicated to the temporal. In that case, we do not belong to the eternal presence of God because we love the temporal. Eh. We, we don't belong to the eternal if we love the temporal. Uh, 
Use the, the, the temporal, enjoy the temporal, but don't be attached to them. Don't love them. Yan. So, sabi po sa 1 John 2, verse 15 to 17, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives for ever purihin ang Diyos. So now, to summarize po yung ating pong pag-aaral, uh, again, gagamitin po natin, uh, gagamit po tayo ng acronym. At dahil po ang title natin ay Keys to Empowerment, ang ating pong acronym na gagamitin word po ay Keys. Susi, K-E-Y-S. Yan. So, letter K. Know and understand that healing comes from hearing God's word. Yan. Know and understand that Healing comes from hearing God's word. Letter E. Empowerment comes by being in touch with Christ always. Yan. Empowerment comes by being in touch with Christ always. Letter Y. Your character is being molded for the future. Your character is being molded for the future. And letter S. The last letter po. Setting your love for temporal things disqualifies you to enjoy eternal things. Hopefully, lahat po tayo ay nakakita po ng mga susi kung paano po pinalalakas, inihahanda, ay inaayos ng Diyos ang attitude ng mga taong sumusunod sa Kanya. Purihin ang Diyos. Tanggapin niyo po ang uh, uh, panalangin ng pagbabasbas and I pray na wag po kayong mibitaw. After po nito, may Bible study, mag-take note lang po kayo, mag-comment kayo sa baba and as we read it, we will contact you and uh, we will invite you sa ating po mga Bible study. Let's pray po. Panginoon, salamat po sa araw na to. Salamat sa inyong katuruan. Salamat sa inyong presensya. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa inyong kapahayagan. Hindi lang po namin, Panginoon, na bayaan niyo po. Katulad mga disipulo, ihanda niyo po kami. Bigyan niyo po kami ng uh, gutom at pagnanasa na palaging makasama kayo. At uh, as we learn from you, Lord, bayan niyo mabold ang aming karakter sa, uh, to become the person you want us to be. And help us, Lord. As we receive your power, Lord, we will be ready to face anything in this life. And alam namin, all the sufferings that we will experience here, Lord, cannot equal the glory that we will uh, receive when you come. Thank you, Father, for everything. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Purihin ang Diyos. So, uh, till next time po, God bless you all. Amen. coming March and April as we start a brand new series all about the remarkable women in the Bible. Come and join us as we get to know the stories of these women, get a glimpse of their life of faith, and discover how they were made remarkable women in the Bible. This is happening every Friday of March and April at 7.30pm. 
See you there! Oh